Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome back to the Luigi's Mansion No Out of Bounds Tournament for 2023. We are here at the Losers Finals. It is time, baby. We've got two of the absolute goats at Luigi's Mansion going off against each other right now. Joven, NHD Lax. I'm Jared, and uh, on commentary with me is my boy Big Max. Hello, and everybody. I think we are in for a pretty good race. So we're spoiled, right? Like this is the definition of spoiled. Obviously, I think these are the long-standing titans. I know Pablo obviously is in this category as well. As some of the others, but like when we talk Luigi's Mansion. You guys think of Joven in HD. So definitely this is upper echelon, even though it's losers finals. This is anybody's race. This is crazy. Yeah, I think a big factor right here, big thing that's been prominent throughout the tournament is this is our first tournament that we have with Chauncey one cycle. And between these two guys, if either one of them misses it, it's detrimental. So you're either hoping that both of them get it or both of them miss it. Yeah. If we see a big 30 second swap in the beginning we're in for a rough race yeah so it's have to do some pulling some strings it's unlikely you're gonna see uh catch up that much you know what i mean like 35 seconds is definitely doable but if both runners are playing at the top level that we know they're going to be playing at it's going to be really hard for anybody to get wiggle room if something like that shifts i mean you could say er you could say tech skip but you'd have to start wishing some some out of bounds stuff on your opponent and they're off which is good because we're ready to roll mr jared oh, how is boy. your evening how well, here we are get a lot better right now i hope if we get a good race i'm uh, i've been looking forward to this i you know as commentators usually you don't want to have any bias but i know that you brought up being on team joven so i, I, did. I, will, be I, did. I will be representing team hd I I think for once it's okay. Like we're losers. Obviously, I can. I really couldn't want either one. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want either one of them to lose or win. No. I want them both. That's impossible. And so because the whole uh, shtick with shirt, shirt brother, I'm going to be team shirt brother <laughs> all the way, Mr. Joven. Take it away. Yep, I'll be rooting for HD because you know that's my boy. But Luigi's um, the real winner. Yeah, I we, we are the real winners at the end True. of the game because we get to see. Two of the best to ever do it. Tear this game apart. Hopefully have a really good race. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. Uh, we Both runners to... doing the little Zircon shimmy there with the key. Every little second counts. Oh. Every little second. At this point, Different we would assume... Too. We would assume that most of you guys have been following along in the tournament, so we're not going to probably go in too in-depth on some of the subtle things that they do, doubling and stuff like that. You guys know how it works, but... Again, the big thing here at top level like this is the very minor movement and strategizing that goes on throughout the run that you're going to see that's just going to save some time. Even as much as just getting twirl animations versus wave animations can put somebody in front of the other person enough to win the race. I mean, we're talking these guys could finish within like half a second of each other. They've both been playing and they're both really good at the game. Oh, yeah. Actually, I mean, we saw the Pablo finish, right? Two seconds it was, mm -hmm. and it was a difference of a King Boo and a, a one cycle and on. Yeah, this 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 should hopefully, barring anything catastrophic on Chauncey, this should be a close race pretty much the entire time. Um, I know HD has especially been playing a lot of no out of bounds, just these last like two days, just because he's been trying to PB. Um, and earlier today, he had a run that was, like, plus 20 on Bogmire, and he brought it back and almost got a 54 off of it. So, um, he's been playing out of his mind. I mean, even in his last tournament match, you said it was one of the best showings of Luigi's Mansion you've ever seen, so... Just because, like, when things go wrong, right? And I mean wrong. To see somebody, like, play the room perfectly, even though he has to do something he normally... You know what I mean? Like, yeah. the fundamentals kick in. That's the difference between kind of like just linearly playing the game and like, oh, everything's going well, and oh no, it's a race, how do I adapt? You know what I mean? It's it's crazy to watch players figure out ways to save time when they need to. Like but the backup strats, the adaptability, that's what makes racing in this game so fun. 
Yeah, there's so much adaptation that goes on when when you're talking races, not even runs specifically, because usually in a run you don't have to adapt so much because things should go relatively the way that you want to go or you outside just of RNG, or you just reset. Right? Yeah. Can't Whereas do that when you're race. racing like this, if anything goes wrong, like I know HD's pipe room, that was the big oh, thing yeah. that you were like, oh man, if somebody misses it misses breaker boot and they have to go a different route and, and, and try and do something different, like just being able to, you know, route out exactly how you're going to play it in your own mind. And, I, and, I mean, yeah, I just thought the pipe room thing was really clever. I mean, like it just in that moment. It was the right thing to do with the time loss he knew he already had, and like right. to find that while you're in the mix, like in the middle of it, it's not easy to do. No, I mean it's just it's just crazy. Obviously, here's the the whole the whole thing. Both had immaculate area ones. I mean the the times are insanity being here. I've never I've never even looked at Chauncey around this time. So <laughs> right now I'd still be sitting in front of the uh, the, the rocking horse or whatever about 422 is when i smack him in the face with the ball so this is unheard of for me i don't know what i'm doing wrong but i'm assuming both are gonna get it this i'm is... nervous though i don't want i i just want whatever happens i hope they HD's both get hands the are same warmed result. up and i know he's feeling it and i think jovan's got the got that little our artist consistent touch so i think it'll be good both runners get it Ooh, moment oh. of truth HD did tell me he wasn't feeling too good about Chauncey one cycle today, but surprised that was me. that was earlier, and this is now, and he's ready to rumble. Okay, 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 okay. That's good. You know what? We will take that. This is the same thing as if both gets it. Yes. So we have an even race here. We're probably not going to see any, like, 54s or crazy times nope. or anything like that. We can still see some 55s, but I'm just glad that they get the same outcome. I'm hoping for the same thing on, like, early release and, and the big RNG stuff like that. I hope it kind of evens out. I just want to see a race that gets decided purely on just, like you said, being able to just strategize on the spot. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely going to be in their heads, too. I, I mean, who knows if either one of them is going to check. I, I know every time I think one of them actually does check, HD didn't check at all last time, and I don't think Jovan... I, I think neither one will actually know. And so what I hope this does is it motivates them to play at, at an insane level. Because they don't know if the other person missed it or not. Unless they, you know, unless they check. I almost feel like... It because both of them missed it, they're going to be way more curious on whether the other person got it or not. So right I now... I don't know, because HD missed the breaker boo, but like, didn't even check to see if Mega did. You know what I mean? Like, he just played. And I, you'd think, right? You'd think, oh, I, I'm curious. Who knows? Maybe curiosity gets the best of them. But they might both be thinking, I don't have time to think of that. I just have to play. You're not wrong. Yeah, that could we'll, be the case. We'll have to, we'll have to find out after the, after it's the game. It's interesting to hear, though, when people talk about, like, what they do during races. Because me, personally, if I was in this tournament, I I don't like looking at what oh, the I other don't. person is doing. But sometimes, if, I'm feel, if I feel like I'm playing either really, really good or really, really bad, curiosity does get the best of me. And I, I will say... It's... When you see yourself being so far behind the other person, it can really help you to just lock and load and be like, okay, I am not nervous now. I am playing for myself at this point. All I can possibly do is just not mess anything up further and just play the best LM that I can play right now. Um, so I think there's times where looking and seeing where the other person's at is good, but there's times oh, where- Oh, set up for test. Oh. Oh, he doesn't Ooh. get it. Oh, and that's going to cost time. And that's the risks. That is I, the risk. I, again, I wonder if Jovin doesn't know. It, it might be something he just goes for all the time. But you never know. Like, he might be like, well, shucks. If HD gets that, I, I got to go for things. I'm incredibly curious to see if HD is going to go for six piece because I know he did last race, but he might go grass. He might go yeah. grassroots. He might. I know. He might, he might, he says he's been messing up his ER, so we'll he, see. He's still six piecing. Oh, we like to see this. HD coming in to the new school. 
Oh, and he gets it, baby. Oh, yes, baby. He's a dual school runner. Oh, my. Can't can't make Good. those jokes about him now. And Joven gets it, too. Nice. nice six Let's pieces. Go. All right, here All right. we go. Let's PR, see. Please, give him the both. Give him the same result. No, HD does no not way. get it. Well, he hasn't gotten ER since you know when. Oh, and Joven, Joven gets does it. Does get it. Oh, oh boy. Man. Well, here we go. And so, where Joven was slightly unfortunate in missing his own setup of the task bathroom double, he'll uh, he'll snag a he'll snag a short lead. That you know, could fix this though, and we don't know how the RNG will play there. No, we don't. I will say HD. Has been unbelievably unlucky in his runs with that for ER. Like ab absolutely, no, no, no. Um, it's it's outrageous because I watch him play in the in the Discord sometimes, and it's outrageous how how few times he gets it. It took him two days of runs with six piece to get early release with six piece for the first time. It took him two days. How many extra actions of Luigi do you think he's fitting in? I don't know, but he's not calling uh, Mario not, enough. He's so. not doing it enough. That's what I'm saying. Needs to fit in those Luigi actions in between there to change that RNG up. Uh, it's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough time loss to have, not getting the 10 seconds, but HD is a good enough player. He can rally this. He can beat oh, the RNG. Absolutely. I, I think I think this is a, a case where Shirt Brother probably is not going to... Joven won't be uh, won't be getting the the tech skip, but HD might be able to sneak that tech skip, and that should make up the time right there. To be honest, well, we'll see if they call for Mario before entering the. That's parlor. true. We will we'll, we'll we'll have to watch some of their hands, whichever one we don't have the volume on. We'll have to make make sure they don't call them. Oh, Good call. I gotta switch over to Joven. I yeah, he's slightly ahead. I mean, they're gonna be on the same frame almost. Back to what you said earlier about the whole, like, you know, curiosity with the looking at each other's friends. Maybe it's from, like, I know you guys at high levels, you're really competitive and stuff. Like, what, the only time I've ever been in a tournament, mind you, even if, if it was out of bounds, I'd probably treat it the same way. I know I'm not going to win, so I don't care Ooh. what my opponent does. But, like, that's Joe. me. And Joven gets it. I mean, not best RNG. Ooh. Oh, boy. HD. Oh, when it rains, it pours. Is that what's going to happen? Let's see. Oh, the China cabinet never has the boo in it. We got it! it. Does. Okay, it okay, does. so when it rains, it doesn't necessarily pour all the way, it just trickles. Yeah, it's just a little light drizzle. Okay, we like oh. to see that. You know all what? Right, either HD... one of them opting for the faster Pablo strat. Okay, HD gets a little bit better RNG here, so he's gonna save a couple seconds. That's good. They're super close. They are close, and they're 11, actually both on pretty good true. runs, considering uh, everything that's happened. Four seconds behind HD is. That's oh, he gets first check. Oh man! Oh, this is. Oh, he caught up a little bit there, man. Oh boy. He's moving at one eleven forty. It's about a five second difference between the two. Is it? Yeah. Oh man. All right, Sorry, so H HD H HD's got places where he can make up some time on some RNG. We'll see how the ballroom good. goes. Joven's RNG has been kind of meh on the booze. Um, HD's been getting a little bit luckier, I think. I'm glad neither one of them faked the boo double. I told them to, but I'm glad neither one of them did it. It wastes time. Oh, nice check. He's oh, he's painting. painting. Interesting. Alright, Joven leaving at 12.34. HD should probably be about six seconds behind here. Yep. Alright, so we're pretty much even. It all evens out. They both got... Boo luck that pretty much didn't put anybody any more ahead or behind than they already were. So, uh, that's that's always good. It was double vacuums, wasn't it? Or did Joven actually hump the toilet? Uh, I did see what? HD do it, but I didn't see what Joven did. Uh, why do I like? I don't know why I just want to make one of them be one that that actually did it. I just assume both of them vacuumed it, but I don't know. Oh, oh, Butley Mouse spawned in there early. Butley, Joven yep. knocked the toilet? No way! 
Joven doing a little toilet knocking. What a shirt, brother. <laughs> what a shirt, brother. Sh shout outs to you, shirt brother. There are no rules, baby. Great double so far. Let's see if he gets the instant. No. Oh, he did. Whoa, he, he did. I, I just, I guess he was facing a different way, so I didn't see. Oh, my. Okay, HD gets painting. Oh, Joey was so close to stepping on that thing. I thought for sure it was about to be one of those moments. A 14.08 fire for Joven. All things considered, that's actually not that bad. When you consider that they both missed Chauncey, 14.08 is actually pretty good. They're, they're, they're playing solid. They're not making many mistakes at all. No. If anything, it's a, a second here, a second there. There's nothing major. Right there, maybe a little bit with Joven. He misses the candle. It might sit him back just a slightly on the butler cycle. Well, let's see who, who gets the, the real... Oh no, the toilet knocking didn't help Joven get Butley Mouse. Butley Mouse, pop out for the vacuum. Pop let's see, out for let's the see. Toilet vacuum. Okay. Oh no, well, we did see him on HD screen, so technically Butley Mouse made an appearance. We got a chance during the blackout phase, but it's slim. I guess there's still, there's still Tea Room Mouse and Kitchen. They're pretty cool. Are we gonna do a max percent tournament? No. <laughs> no, I don't think max percent can do it. We never, we, we would never have runs that could be finished. I mean, like unless we have like a mercy forfeit, you know, because they could go three hours and still not have a, a clear, you know, a clear winner. Joven, Joven getting a hat. great skip. Yeah, CHD. Oh, he just misses it. I find it interesting that HD opts to walk into the hat rather than vacuuming. I actually think vacuuming the hat there is a little bit easier. It gives you a little bit more leeway. Oh, he missed it! Okay. We're good. Alright, I'll pay attention to Joven's entry here. He actually got a really good boo there as well. HD's gonna get the, the, the tool shed here too, watch. Boom. Nope. Oh, knocked on the stool on accident. Yeah. That was a really, really good hidden room. Yeah, it was. It was really fast. I, I thought for a second something might have happened, and then it just it worked. AC's going to have to do a uh, a fire and then bring him to the corner, so slightly slower, but, I mean, doesn't get punched or anything like that. Joven having a really quick find, though, on that boo. AC, of course, gets oh, decoy. Oh, just switched on, on him. Oh, boy. HD is not getting the greatest RNG here, I will say that. Oh, there's your boy Michael. Yeah, he's awake. He, I actually think that Michael knows that he was going to be like just wide awake this whole time, and so he probably planned to just be up. He's <laughs> he's he's probably already got like, he's just in the cold shower right Ooh. now. He fell back asleep, though. Yeah, that time, <laughs> he fell back asleep. He, <laughs> that time, that time he nodded off. That's usually what happens to my laundries. I think I get them, and then... Nope. Oh. It has been a hot minute since we've seen Butley Mouse. I'm pretty excited that he showed up, at least. Nice! Five frames! Joey just saved five frames. Even though he doesn't believe that he saved five frames. Yeah, he doesn't believe he saved five frames, so you know what, guys? He doesn't get five frames. That's right, shirt brother. No five frames. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I I, sure. I, he's listening, and he knew I was going to talk about the five frames, so he intentionally lost the five frames so he could say no time save. He actually did lose the frames. <laughs> no. Uh, that's, that's not so how funny. that works, Joven. He actually um, did lose himself the five frames. That's so H funny. HD HD lost five frames too. He had the bottom the bottom answer. Joven had some HD some difficulty. Yeah, right if he gets the boo right here, definitely some time safe. 
Oh, Ooh. neither. Neither one of them get lucky in that sense. Oh, I think the boo switched on him and he went to double back. Yeah, he went to see if that's where he switched to. That's unfortunate. Switched into the old cello. Cello. I was going to say violin, but then people were going to laugh at me. <laughs> I was going to say that's too. a mighty big violin, so I had to stop and think for a second. <laughs> but, um, that's a violin, though. Don't let me tell you otherwise. I think HD is roughly about 21 seconds behind here. It usually takes about 20, 21 seconds to grab water from the entry into lugs. So there's your pace pal of the day. Pace pal of the day. Things I'll never need to, <laughs> things I'll never know. <laughs> oh, Joven pulls the cloth off on accident. HD could capitalize on a little bit of time save here if he does get text give. He should save a little bit of time either way, though, because if the boo gives him cloth RNG, he's he's he still find finds the boo a little bit faster than Joven does. Looks like he is gonna get tech skip RNG though. Oh, oh, he's pulling it off. Oh, he didn't oh, go for it. He fell. Well, maybe he didn't hear a switch, and so he just he just did it. I jinxed him. That's my fault. Commentator's curse. Man, he still drug him over there too, just to get the tech skip. Yeah, Michael's definitely having a good time sleeping right now. They'll wake him up for tea room. Let's see how Jovan handles this double. Oh, it's a setup for it. Man. I'm getting I'm getting okay at that. It is it's fun. I actually have never done it. I'll have to try it. <laughs> it's really not that bad. I I uh it looks a lot weirder and harder than it really is. If I can do it, I feel like everybody can do it. I mean, it will you take do have practice. a sub 120 in 100%, so that's you're pretty that, good. That doesn't say a whole lot. Oh, Ooh. man. That, that happens sometimes. He wasn't close enough to the right-hand ghost. Still, that was a good, good quick cleanup. Definitely Area 2, not HD's friend. I mean, I think we can, we no. can say that as we close it out, that uh, Area 3, he needs to... He needs to like dial in and, and just figure out a way to carve time, save yeah, time. Yeah, he made some mistakes, but he also did not get very lucky. Oh no, yeah, so that doesn't help. Joven's no. RNG was definitely better, but no, no handouts or any freebies coming coming to HD's way in that one. Yeah, no, Joven's playing really good actually. He's kept the state the mistakes to. A Pretty much a minimum. I mean, the only thing that I can think that he did wrong was pulling off the clock in the kitchen. Other than that, he's been playing pretty smooth. Working with what he's handed. Yeah, I don't think both runners have necessarily done anything crazy. I mean, I know HD has to make a weird burden. Hit and rim, okay, you lose a couple, you know. But, like, nothing really has been of, uh, you know, like, negligence. Or, you know what I mean? Like, just something, right. oh, I just didn't do it. Kind of just... One has having a really better, uh, just having a slightly better run. Some RNG things are going better for Joven. He isn't having to search for booze longer. HC's lingering in some of these rooms. Booze are switching on him. There's going to be time difference from that. But everybody's favorite time save is coming up soon. It happens when a certain magical number of booze. And then that's everybody's favorite game. You know, the big thing that always hangs over our heads here as well is that you have to keep in mind Kingu one cycle exists that's like 18 that's seconds. true if your opponent doesn't go for it at the very at the very least if your opponent goes for insta shots you still have 13 seconds to save on them so hg is only about 30 seconds behind it does seem like a lot but it is doable a lot can go wrong in area three oh yeah this is absolutely doable i mean obviously we don't want to talk about any like catastrophes but there are text differences. There are some time saves that you can get. Boo RNG is definitely going to play into this. There's some clearing of the rooms. I think Nana Nana room is uh, uh, is going to be a clear indicator. One could have stellar RNG. One could get table. We'll see. But it's not over. Nobody should write this over. If anything, this is one of those runs where we just keep saying it's going to come down to King Boo because it is. Yeah. 
Breaker Boo also exists. As <laughs> yeah, well. Breaker Boo. I was gonna say this is all gonna come down to Breaker Boo. Then it's all gonna come down to King Boo. So just oh. figure it. It's those two segments. All HD's hoping for right now is to scrape some seconds away from Joven's lead in Area Three. He doesn't need to do too much damage to it. No. But he, he needs to have a really good Area Four and hope that Joven's doesn't. Five. Do nice. Five, maybe ten seconds. He shaves here. At, mm -hmm. at most, he can maybe get like fifteen. Maybe Joven goes for twins double. You know, maybe it's just a slower suck up. Who knows? There's the fifteen, the fifteen boot text, right? There's some time. Yep. The mashing might come into play, maybe. Yeah, HD. He just needs to play solid for the rest of the run, really, and just it's it's in Joven's hands right now. Realistically speaking, this is Joven's to lose. You can hold a lead like this for practically the entire race if you just play really good. Yeah, if you, I mean, obviously, if you just play to you know to your PB to to the room standard, you should be able to keep keep pace the whole time. See some I know. Room tech skip setups here. Oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna wake Michael up. Getting a miss shine there. I know you say it for Hundo a lot that when you come down from the rooftop, right? Like that's the real start of the run. Like yeah. ah, that's when the run begins. So for no out of bounds, would the run begin at Breaker Boo though? Um, I would say. Yeah, I think the run really gets going. Wow, what a great tier there. Yeah, that was a that was a really good tier room. Uh, the run really gets going and no out of bounds once you're done with Grimly. I would even say when you start Blackout. I mean, you've got Grimly, who hopefully gives you some good RNG. Usually he's not too much of a problem, but he can be a problem. Um, and then all I the rest of that, that is just a bunch of skill checks. It's just a yeah. ton of skill checks. I'd agree. I, I, think R I, I, think, I think Blackout's a good one because Grimly kind of dictates your sort of uh, I guess mental state like if you get a quick Grimly you, you go in feeling okay like we're grooving right and if you get a bad Grimly you're already starting to feel that that weight that pressure and then the first thing you have to do is go in and one cycle breaker boo literally the hardest boo yeah which is make or break pretty much all right text get from both of our runners so that's nice so far so good oh Nana room RNG could save some time or give Joven even more of a lead here, though. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, it is never a guarantee that the boo in here is going to be nice to you. Yeah, he Joven gets the table. table. Didn't instant check the table, so he still, you know, didn't get as much time save, I guess, as he theoretically could have. Or, well... I guess lead. Not necessarily time save. But we'll see if HD gets first check. I think HD does go for the table right away. He does. Oh. He does not get the luck for it. Hopefully both of these are right side. Nice. All right. All right. He committed to the boo, so pretty good RNG. Actually, he he probably evened out with Joven there. Ooh, even get the hundred percent money. Way to go. Oh, but the key won't move. Interesting. That's... That's quite... That's quite interesting. Jovan's Astral Halls are so clean. I love watching him do these doubles. Oh, yeah. I, I, I started doing my triple here the same way he does, right? You don't go around the candles. I just go up and back. I've even been able to save it a couple of times, but... Uh, that's a very clean Astral. It's two quick, fast checks there, too. Doesn't hit it on the first try, but, I mean, that's still pretty good. Welcome on in, Elite Spud. And anybody else that's joined us here on this Wednesday night for the late night. For the LM. No Out of Bounds 2023. Losers finals. Winner of this solidifies at least second place for fifty dollars. That's something. They play Pablo. Oh, Joe. Did that not missed. work? Yeah, I was gonna say I, I, that's that. He missed he again. Tries it again. He's tilting, he's oh, tilting. Joven. 
Okay, HD. This is good for Take HD, actually. Take a deep breath, shirt brother. Oh uh, lord, I think I think that hits because on that side you can you can get away with yeah. it. You just can't get away with it on the other side. Oh boy. Well, welcome in, everybody else. Boston Brew. Hey, that's the break Katie. that HD needed right now, though. Absolutely, that though. That. That's that is a time save. Uh, uh, it's a time HD. Little, just hit little buffer, shot. and he go, hits it. Okay. Nice. All right. So we'll we'll do a little pace check here. Joven got a 2821 moonshot. And HD got a 2842. So we're looking at about a 21 second difference right here. See, that right there is almost the amount of time that King Boo one cycle saves. Yep. So hey. We we said, right? It's just a little bit. HD just needs to play. Do not do not don't do anything crazy. Just play. Yep. He's really the he's already the ball got is about in. ten seconds. He already saved about ten seconds on Joven just because of that alone. So. Joven doesn't know it because you know, like I don't know if he knows he's ahead, but like the ball's in Joven's court, obviously, to keep the pace. He's setting the pace that HD has to play at, and so Joven has to has to play at a really high level. Otherwise, right. HD will catch up. Right. That's what I'm saying. HD, when you're playing from behind, you have nothing to lose. When you Absolutely. Behind, yes. You're you're just you're a bullet. You're going. You are rallying, yeah. So it's up to Joven to be able to match that, because you know HD is going to be doing what he can. Absolutely. Normally, when I'm behind like this, like I said, my big thing is just going grassroots. I like to just do things the way that I know how to do them and how they work. Yeah. Comfort, I want fundamentals, I want absolutely. Speed. I don't want risk. It sometimes it allows you to get back into the zone. Do you know what I mean? Because right then yeah. you, you you need something like that. You need you need like a touchstone. And so what do you do? You go, you go to oh boy, Joven having to like, whoo okay. I'm scared that the boo was gonna leave. Yeah, I don't know why too. he did that. Oh boy, funny text. All right, he gets funny text. Wowie, good morning, Sandy, Red, Ben the Shagger, welcome in. There's that funny text. Man, how funny is it? Let's see if HD can do it. Oh, oh no funny sorry. text. But it's okay. Hmm. Joven's boo count looks obvious, uh, oddly weird. What's that 15 number, Jared? What could possibly happen now? Oh, uh, well, let's let the game explain itself, shall we? Let's see. Uh huh. Yes, it will. Right on cue. <laughs> You can't well, write that script well, any better. The fifteenth boo says he get can now send you longer text. Yay! You actually can't write that any better. No, you can't. What are the chances that he actually gets Vanguard? Uh, Japanese version saves uh, time on text mashing in a section coming up. Uh, Clairvoya split, and it also allows two mouse hole uh, skips that uh, other languages cannot do. And so technically, it is the fastest uh, edition to run on. And if I'm being completely honest, pretty sure JP copy costs less than an American copy. So if it's it's also nice that you don't have to spend as much money on an American. He's gonna copy. go for it. This is actually a really good twin set up here. This is one of my favorites to do, and he flawlessly gets it. I mean, sure, brother, that was yeah. fantastic. I love a good twins double. That's probably one of the best twin doubles I've seen in a hot minute. That was, that sick. was really really good. That yeah. was so clean. And he gets a good boo too. Not an instant spawn, but it is right in front of him. I don't think HD is going to go for twin double. He's probably absolutely not. not he's he, he is a he's definitely not a very like he's a consistency player more than he's a risk player, and so he he does his good clean twins. You know what I mean? Yep. Don't he doesn't don't have to worry about how fast he gets them off. If he gets just get give me the twins. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Remember, HD doesn't have to do anything crazy. Joven just has like. He's already made time up. HD does get an insta spawn, so he saves a little bit of time on RNG there. Um, I'll have to see how the text plays on this. Let's do a pace check. Joven getting fast text decently. Okay. Joven exits at 3245 out of Chauncey, so we'll keep an eye on that. We'll look at what time HD does. Oh, yeah. Mr. Green, welcome in. And that was a really nice, uh, what do they call that? Bedroom? Is that what they call that? Master bedroom. Master bedroom. Well, it's one of the bedrooms. 
We're looking at about a 27 second difference from the Chauncey exit. So definitely Twins double mu must have given, like, I mean, sometime, it was a very clean Twins double. I mean, HD probably one of, the, here. one of the cleanest I've seen. All right, she did save a little bit of time there as well. Mashing too, I don't know which one of them is the fastest masher. I know you boast one of the highest mashes I've seen. You you mash quite fast, Jared. Which Maybe the I fastest envy. in the community. Maybe. I I really uh, wish you just sit next to me and just mash through all of these for me because I'd save so much time. <laughs> how how long does this take if you just lazily click through it? Like if you were just tapping A and B. I think I probably say if you were lazy tapping A and B, I think I could save maybe anywhere from three to five seconds on Clairvoya. Which is a big deal off of just mashing text. That's hard to save three or five seconds. Um, usually from my Clairvoya entry, I can start her suck up at 121. And I know most runners usually get like a 123 or four, maybe five. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm probably looking at anywhere from like maybe two or three, maybe even four or five seconds, depending on how people mash. But I mean, hey, every second counts, though. No, 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 absolutely. I was going to say, I think, like, I don't mash particularly fast. I mean, I, I, it's like a minute, I don't know, I've always been told it's like a minute 30, you know, like, I guess of, like, what the sequence is, if you just kind of, like, lazily do it. And I, I kind of do it in, like, 127 or something like that. Okay, I'm not the fastest. Yeah. So when I mash, like, really, really hard, it's like, yeah, 121 is usually what I would get. So. You're, and you're I don't know about that minute like 30 seconds. Five or six seconds. But I know for a fact I do get uh, I get 121. So. Man, Jovan has having a having a really good, really good exit there. Doesn't get first check. I think he had to check top uh, top left, and then he went for uh, for the table. Uh, we'll see what HD opts to do. He does have a, a read up in the top left corner though, and also on the table. He's just gonna go for the table and see. I think it's a good call. I feel like the boo's gonna be there. Yeah. yeah. No. Good call. Nice. All right. We go to Bulasis. Well, hey, Bulasis isn't a guarantee either. Things can go wrong. We can look at out of bounds oh ice. We can look at a lot of different things that yep, can happen. Yeah, there are there are quite a few things that can happen in Bulasis. There are faster one cycles, particularly than others. Both both runners could get a one cycle. Perhaps one does it faster. You know, there's yep. that. We don't have to wish anything too crazy. Um, it starts with Safari though. I think Safari is a. Uh, is a good uh, a good fundamentals room. Can still trip people up if they're not paying super uh, super close attention and playing it properly. But so far, I mean, those are some really fast suck ups. Wow, man, that was and he's gonna check the chair. <laughs> oh, dude, man, that's that's something else. If he got that chair RNG, that would have yeah, been the best fire rooms ever seen. <laughs> Dude, that was like Robo Jovin. HD lining up, it's a good double. Let's see if he can get it. Oh, couldn't Ooh, get it before he. Little opportunity for HC to save some seconds if he doesn't get Vanguard text. Does he get an insta spawn as well? He okay, does. he gets it. That's good. See, lot he uh, he had the garbage ghost despawn on him, and so getting this is really going to be nice. He'll pick up the key, and if he gets short text here, he will get a few seconds. Nice. All right, he does save a little bit of time off the text. I mean, Joven is playing really, really well, though. Joven's yeah. consistency right now is is definitely what's got him ahead. Yeah, I mean, teams aside and all that, like, I just... It, I, watching both of these runners play is, is just in, insane. Like, HD is doing everything in his power to, to keep pace. He's doing an insane job. Joven is also just playing like a machine. Like, he's just playing really well. I mean, he's made a mistake here and there, Moonshot, but, like, he bounced back and, and rallied really quickly. He did. Yeah, going for twin double and stuff like that, just being confident enough to go for it even when you're in the lead. It's a big thing. Wow, that was a great spray. Oh, uh, I think he's got one more. Okay. Yep, nice. Right. 
So, not the fastest, obviously, but still one cycle. Yep. Clean. You know? It's gonna be a 38-18 key. Where's the ice? Oh, there it is. Okay, I, it was on the other side of the statue. <laughs> Alright, we'll see how HD does here. 14 shot. He could use it right now. Oh, nice backup, though. Nice spray. He just needs to get this one right here, and he's locked it in. All right, good. So nice. similar. Very, very similar. Had yep. to do a one and then a one. And yeah, Ben, uh, Boo lost. This is definitely one of the hardest casual bosses ever. 28 seconds we're looking at right now. HD's behind 28. Um, that's not That's not bad going into Area 4, considering all the things. Joven will do five-piece. I know he will. It's not something he he's going to not do. And so if HD goes for the normal sort of uh, feel-good thing, who knows? Joven could mess, like, it's the risk-reward, right? Plenty of things can happen. I also don't want to bring up the whole Mega Lightning thing, but doesn't Joven lose armory? Oh, dude, I hate doing this commentator's curse stuff. He's not going to lose armory, boo. But I've heard he could, <laughs> I've heard he's lost armory, boo, before. I don't know why I'm trying to speak this into existence. Maybe because you want the race to be a little bit closer. <laughs> <laughs> not that, like, that's... That's almost game breaking though if that boo just doesn't doesn't cooperate after. Hey, you Armory know what? boo is very hard. I'm Joven, not even <sighs> Joven, I'll, I wanna bring this up because we're coming up on it. I hate to change the topic, but No no no, you're good. Joven does drag strap, HD does wall strap. Oh, that is true. I, that is a good. I, I was about. I, uh, I was talking about that before the game, or thinking about that. I was going to say we are actually going to see a showcase of the two breaker boost strategies. Wall strat is better. Um, just so we're clear. But well, um, I really think that uh, now we're team drag strat versus team. I can't do either. So I don't take. I just think the way that you drag and manipulate the boo is so amazing to watch. I don't think it makes it either easier or harder. I just think that it's really cool to watch a boo be manipulated in that fashion. And so I'm on team drag strat for that. We're, ta we're taking teams on everything here, Jared. I'm on team wall strat. <laughs> okay. Boom, through. Three. Shirt Brother and the Boo Drags. That's my new album. Jovan is really good at dragging boos, so he I feel is. like he will get Breaker Boo, but I've seen him miss it before. I have mm. seen him miss it before. And I do think Wall Strat is a little bit more consistent, just as far as, like, not getting any double cackles or anything like that, and actually taking off the right amount of health. But the thing with Wall Strat is you really want to get the boo to charge, otherwise it makes the strat way harder than it needs to be. So... Hopefully HD gets a charge spawn on the boo, and that'll help him out a lot. Oh, I bet, Kai, in terms of manipulating boos with the boo drags. And don't worry about Ivo, please. Let the team toilet knockers live in peace. There's nothing wrong. Nice Pythagoras skip from Joven. Neither runner runs in sidestep for this, by the way. Ooh. Team sidestep, baby. Me too. Happy birthday, Grimly. It works is. every time. I'm gonna say happy birthday to Grimly before HD walks in, so he'll get. All right, yeah. do it, do it. I'm gonna do it right when he walks, right when he walks in the answer room. Grimly's looking pretty. Chelsea, I'm glad you brought that up. Grimly's looking pretty fly today. Handsome boy, ready for a night out on the town. He is a spiffy one. Happy birthday, Grimly! And he... and oh. hey, all right, there hey, he look. Goes. I heard Butley Mouse! Joven got it! Mouse too. Oh! No way! The late Butley spot! I bet Joven is beanie. I bet that made his day. A little tear in his eye, one just streaks down. Butley Mouse. Here it comes. Setting it up for it. Oh no, he's in there. What? Did he send out the text kit? No, oh, no, well he, he was, and uh, he half pulled it off. Oh, he gets charge RNG. See, it's very interesting to me that drag strat does. Oh, he checked the barrel and set up tech skip. Okay, I, I see. Yeah. That. And these are solid drags Ooh, right here. My lord, dude, look at the weight. It's, it's so it's... disgusting to watch. Like I, oh I hate. Oh no, does he have middle? Is he have middle room? Okay, it's middle for HD. 
He can do this still. Absolutely. Did he get a double cackle? Ooh. I don't think so. I don't I don't think there was a double cackle there. I think he just let it go for as long as he could. I think he has it. Wall yeah. strap, baby! Wall strap, baby! Wait, Let's wait go. and go! You I'm can so get happy. the boom from the middle, baby. Hey, yes, hey, you can. hey, baby, look at that wall strap from the middle. Don't let anybody tell you you technically have to drag it, even though dragging really does look super cool. And what a clean boo double there. Or boo double. You know what I mean. They doubled. I live in a place where boo double's still a reality. This is awesome. I, like, the one catastrophic thing that could have happened, like, right now, which the big thing, didn't happen to either runner, and I'm nope. just so excited that we actually get to see, like, a non-weird Area 4 tilted, like, I just, it's good. It is good. Oh, this is good stuff. Man. Now, how about That's that Arbory? <laughs> how about that Arbory, boo? <laughs> How about it, baby? How about how, it, Joven? How about Joven. that Arbory Boo, Joven? Welcome on in, Bliss. Nice of you to join us. Hopefully you had a great day. Right. We're looking at it's about a 24-second difference. So actually, HD no, did no, no. make up I will, please. some time. HD did make up some time on Joven. So, this is good. This is good. HD's doing what he needs to do. Right now, he just needs to have a better area four. And it's going to come down to King Boo. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna imagine that no matter what, Joven's gonna probably go for insta shots. But King Boo, literally anything can happen. I don't care how good you are at the game, Absolutely. you can mess up King Boo two cycle. You definitely we, can. You, everybody that's played this game in any shape or form at any level knows the feeling you get, the, the anxiety, whatever that feeling of holding that controller, or however you play, in your hands on the final boss. It is not the same feeling. And see, I, I'm sure some people say oh, I'm confident. But you know, like, there's always that, that, like, little shred of, well, what if you mess it up? And it's hard. Oh, beautiful soldier double. He's going for it. And he gets it. And he got him pinned against the thing, so he should be able to re- Oh, it breaks Ooh. off! No this way. is big for HD. HD needs to capitalize on this. Oh, oh if man, he capitalizes this is, on this. This is good enough right here. HD will definitely do soldier double. And so there will be time to save. Man, I really thought he got it. I guess the extra wrap around there at the end. And let's see if HD juggles it. He's getting. He's he's got him. The first one down really. Oh, he's quick. wrangling. He's wrangling. Oh, he gets, he gets it. it. Oh, he Nicely gets it. He saves more time. All right, and Joven's going for six piece. Why is he doing this? He missed one. Why did he do that? I think oh, it looks HD. so cool. Wait, this is actually HD's chance. This is this is HD's chance, like very hard. All right, now you don't mess up armory, boo, Joven. Oh my God, it's a race now, Joven. What <laughs> did you do that for? <laughs> oh no! Oh, okay, he stopped him from punching. Early ladder here for Joven. Oh my God, it's very very close now. Oh my HD, God, what is going back, on? Baby. Back, HD, Team HD, baby. All right, shirt. Bro don't count shirt brother out just yet, everybody. Hold what? on you're now. Supposed to, eh? You're supposed to be cheering for shirt brother. I'm cheering for HD. <laughs> We're repping our teams here. Sure, sure. Hey, shirt brother. Shirt brother's got it. Shirt brother's gonna figure it out right here. No armory boo loss. Go in. Showcase five piece and lay the smack down. He probably will get five piece. Joven, uh, Joven's really good at five piece. I just think it's exciting that HD is actually rallying. See? Oh, I, dude, I think it's great. It is, it is a five piece. Man. HD's gonna go for the normal. The easy man. Oh, boy. Armor, I, I've, I've been respect. setting up for this five piece my whole life now that Jimin's doing and I've still not gotten it once. And look at him. Look at the oh, way he yeah. makes it so easy, dude. I He's hate so it. it. I hate how good he is at it. Ugh. That was that was probably the cleanest. Uh, that's that's just so clean, dude. And he gets it. Let's see how this works. We'll see if HD gets a good boo. We're hoping top right. No, he does not. I mean, this should be a cakewalk here for for Jovan. No misses. Oh no. Very good. Oh no. Okay, good. he caught played him. It smart. He, he played yep. smart. He didn't try and get him while he was high. That would have been the. Oof, that would have been a big one. 
That is the adaptation that we were talking yep. about earlier in the run. You got to be able to react to stuff like this, and he cleans it and up. And he gets it, yeah. Because if that. he would have tried on that, on that, it would have doubled for sure. Game, yep. game over at that point. Yeah he, yeah, he had to wait for him to come down. Oh I boy, he was trying to bait a charge, but it actually worked out in his favor. Okay, Mario. hear me out. The difference between the two of them right now is 13 seconds. Oh if, my this, God. if this stays Stop. and Joven goes for instas and Stop. HD gets one cycle, we're looking oh at boy. a potential uh, high maybe in a retime. What if one oh accidentally God. tasks one cycles? <laughs> accidentally. I'm serious. No, I'm serious now. What if, what if there's an accidental? Oh, oh he got frozen. frozen. Joven. Joven, it's your brother. Okay, we'll see if HD can avoid getting frozen. HD's a master at this. I watched him do it. Oh, uh, he gets Good. he gets oh, hit. Oh yeah, no that frozen, was clean, though. clean. I I no I know there will be no insta test. I've, most most people uh, most people are not crazy enough to do that in a race. That is. No, Joven will definitely one cycle though. I, I don't think there's any reality where Joven doesn't doesn't do instas in a one cycle. If I was oh, in the lead by like 15, I'm doing instas. Yeah. And I'm not but he doing doesn't know. I mean, like I said, I'm actually playing under the assumption that both runners probably aren't watching and they're just playing. And so I don't like, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's so. It's gonna be so close. Oh, Wes had given a really favorable camp. He just he wanted oh right back in that God. campsite. He needed it. Let's see. Let's see what HD gets. HD blasted him, giving him extra fire, and Ooh, he's, he's going in a circle. Ooh. It's okay. It's okay. He gets it. He gets it. Hangs on he to it. Me a little bit. Jovan gets, gets an insta boo. Oh, I thought he's gonna bomb. Oh, oh, that was so close. This that is a really boo. hard boo to maneuver around. The other boost should be top right for HD still. I think he read that. Oh, what? Switched. Oh boy, what a one cycle for Joven too. HD's oh, got this. Boo is really high. No, he taught me. down. HD him taught down. me how to do this, and so I know he knows how to pull him down without getting the cackles. I've not been able to replicate it, but he did teach me how to do it. <laughs> he did teach me how to do it. <laughs> it All right, pace pals. Yeah, pace pals, tighten up your pace pals. Let's see it. What are we looking at here? Oh my goodness, it's close. Okay, so right now we're looking at about 15, 16 second difference. Oh man. Oh man. If Joven goes for one cycle. Mm hmm. What happens if Joven goes for. Hold on. F Pace Pals, Pace Pals, listen. If Joven goes for one cycle and HD doesn't feel comfortable, and Joven has to uh, two cycle by doing like two one cycles. Does a simple two like what went simple two with instas or like you know how do we how do we pace spell that up? What do you mean like doing insta shots but not going if, for one? If cycle? Joven goes for one cycle but like somehow misses it and has to like one cycle again, do you know what I mean? Like he gets the head on backwards and just has to like do it again. Does a two well, cycle the head beat on that? Backwards, uh, yeah, a two cycle would beat that. It, with, with even with the fifteen second gap already. Yes, if he runs around with his head on backwards, HD would win. Okay, so HD would definitely I, win. We're talking like ten I, I, seconds where Bowser's running around like a, you know, with a chicken with its head cut off. Oh I man, mean, I think both do one cycle too. I just <sighs> could you imagine both of them just going there and neither one. We find out neither one of them has watched it. Neither one of them knows, and they both just go for one cycle and get it. I mean, because like that's what you want. This is. This is crazy. Oh, he misses his, he misses the grabber with the quick shine. Big for he HD. Did the little, he needs oh, that. Lordy. We're talking. Yeah, this is a big this is a big thing that's happening right now. I almost feel like if Joven if if, if HD knew that Joven was gonna go for one cycle guaranteed, he could almost go for two cycle and bank on him missing it. Like, well, you, that would be your 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 weighing the odds, right? Like you're saying, I'll go for this the consistency. And put the ball in your court to solidify the the proper uh, the proper uh, one cycle if you choose to go for it. Because Joven might just go for one cycle, not thinking two is safe at all. Do you know what I mean? Right. Well, he's and been so, doing like, non-safe strats all run, so. Well, I assume he's going to go for one cycle. I, I again, yeah. I assume Joven has no idea, and he is just playing 
to, to win, and he thinks he's got to pull out the one cycle. All right, we are looking at a 12 second difference. So, oh, man. if, if, golly gee whiz, dude. Joven cannot win off of just doing insta shots as it is, anyways. So in order to protect himself from losing, he does need to go for one cycle. Right, because if HD goes in and one cycles and he tries to two, HD wins if he gets HD the one cycle. HD wins, yes, exactly. So it, basically, it's Jovan has to think now, hey, do I take it safer or do I play it riskier? And if I hit it, I just win, no matter what. And that's what he'll do. He'll, he'll weigh the odds and he'll say, if I go in and play how I can play and hit the one cycle, I win and we don't have to worry about what HD does if he knows he's ahead. Or maybe that's just how he's thinking anyway. I don't know. I taught HD how to avoid getting scared here. So you should see him spray fire yeah, yeah, yeah. in the direction of the door. I just taught him this today. Yep. Oh, is that? Okay. Well, that's yep. good that you tell me that. That's, I that's how I all the time guarantee too. that I never get scared when I have element. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, oh dude, this, is, baby. this is so ins. Hey, remember when we were talking earlier, 23 minutes in, somewhere around area three or something, and I said, this will probably just come down to King Boo anyway, right? Here we are. Here we are. HD did. Hey, HD pulled it back. He played consistent. Joven made Absol his mistake Absolutely. that he needed him Joven, to make. Joven was the one that had to set the pace. Obviously, whoever's in the lead has to keep the has to keep the pace going, and HD just played well. He just did consistent and played well. It's doable. Oh, we man. just need a one cycle out of HD and it's doable. <laughs> this, no matter what happens, oh, obviously, this is an insane race. I think this is one of the closest races outside of the Joven Pablo finish. This is literally kind of the same thing. I think even closer, though. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous for both of them. Do you know what I mean? Because I know that yeah. the feeling must be intense right now. Anybody can win this. It's just Joven needs to one cycle to save himself. That's the thing. And Let's there's no see. way he doesn't. Red's right. There's nope. no way he doesn't go. There's absolutely no world that Joven doesn't go for it, and there's probably no world that HD doesn't think he has to go for it either. If again, oh, if either runner has been watching, he's gotta go for it. Like, Ace, here we go. Okay. Beautiful shot. HD gonna set up for it as well. Nice HP there. He just needs his hit. And he misses. Oh, he okay. It. Oh, HD's okay. got a chance. 275, so he has to set up again for another one cycle here. HD's going to go for the shot. No. And he, okay. So okay. So, so, technically, I think if. Oh, oh. but Joven. Okay, if HD backs this up. If HD backs this up, maybe. Joven has to do a fast three. If HD backs what this is, up, he wins. What is happening? HD just needs to back it up. He just needs to get the shot. Just get the shot, HD. Just get the shot. Come on, HD. Figure it out, buddy. Oh, oh my God. God. No. No. He's going to fucking do it. <laughs> there is at, this is some reverse Pablo S. No way. This is crazy. HD comes back and takes it. Holy heck. Oh, my God. What a rally. What an insane race. And, and dude, oh dude, mad GG's to Joe. I might have dropped the, uh, might have dropped the bad word, I apologize, but you know what, man, when something it's, like that I don't happens, know. dude, you gotta just let it slide. Oh, shit. oh my god. Guys. Wow. I hope everybody here was ready for this. Because wow. I wasn't. That was Joven? the craziest thing ever. Dang, dude. Joven hit the bomb in mid-air. That I, is I, the I, one thing that Wow, that's Dude, an and the crazy thing error. is, is he adapt? He still long shot the thing. He just there's no way to one cycle from 275. It's so risky, and no. so he has to go for the three. Yeah. Oh man! Oh wow. boy! Oh, we have to hit the the done buttons here or whatever. Um, wow! So that they get the uh, they get the thing. Wow! Um, oh wow. my god! <laughs> that was not how I was expecting it to end. As soon as I saw HD miss it, I was like, it's over. Oh, no way. Okay, Joven, Joven's joined us. GG's, Joven, dude. Hold Joven, welcome in. Yo, what's up, GG's? We have so much to talk about, I think, when HD gets in here. I was... Yeah. GG, Oh, HD. my God. GG, guys. Yeah, GG. Uh, did either one of you at any point look at the race? Yes. Yeah, I looked at it a few times. I looked at I it after you guys every were. area. 
It's too competitive. You guys, I figured okay. you guys wouldn't o never. O okay. So, I did call it from the beginning. Generally. Yeah, I wanted to know. I wanted to know. It's just a high level thing. I think when you're playing against somebody who you know is like right neck and neck with you, it's hard to not want to know where they are. Because it dictates how you approach the rest of the game. No, that's I, I think that's fair. I, I mean, honestly, I think that's that's fair. So, so uh, really, I just what walk me through King, like both of you, walk me through King Boo. Uh, so the plan was to go for the one cycle because I opened the stream as we both entered King Boo, and I saw he was about maybe ten to twelve seconds ahead of me. So I'm like, all right, I gotta dial in here. I have to one cycle if I want to win. And uh, I missed that first shot, and I'm like, all right, GG's, it's over. So I did the backup two, got done on race time, and I saw that I finished first. And I'm like, wait, there's no way that I won this, right? So I immediately opened the stream, and I saw that he hadn't finished yet. And I'm like, wow, there's no way. Yeah, yes, he that actually just happened. He, ag he It was a collision. He went for the second insta shot and, and blew the other yeah. bomb up in midair and it didn't hit bowser's head and he you have no choice at that point but to go for fast three i mean you have yeah to, you well, by the way joven what a shot impossible. dude from yeah. way downtown on that like the, the the you have to do that so fast because the second he's done breathing fire you're staying over the bomb and nothing to do and so you still but i i felt so bad like both like um, that was yeah. the most chaotic 15 seconds i've ever watched <laughs> That was insane. I, yeah, I, it was it was rough at the end. Uh, yeah, I missed the first shot. I was like, well, guess I gotta do the backup. And then, you know, I the bombs collide. I'm like, okay, well, this sucks. <laughs> so I grab the other bomb, and I'm you know I get him down to like 275. I'm like, that's gonna be hard. So I was just like, well, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah. Was there any thought in your head to not go for one cycle, or you were just... No, I, I always go for it, no matter what. I think it's figured always worth it, because it's pretty consistent. Uh, you know, you can, still back, you can still back it up. You can back it up. You had to go, go for, for it just to pr even to protect yourself. If HD were to have gotten it, you didn't have enough of a lead to, like, where if you went... Even if you just did insta shots, I don't think you would have even been able to win if HD got one cycle. So... Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, you guys were both pretty much handed a situation where you both had to go for it, and you have to assume that the other person is gonna get it. Well, in yeah. HD's case, he has to assume you're gonna miss it so that he has a chance to win, but you have to assume that he's going for it and getting it. It's tough, man. It's it's tough. Yeah. It's, in it's hindsight, you can say, thing. I wish I didn't go for it type of thing, but at the end of the day, it's the name of the game. Yep. No, I, I think yeah, that's this is what we signed up for, though, right? Like you always go for it. And that, you guys are both runners where I think there was never a world. I mean, even Red was saying in chat, there's never a world where I don't think either one of you say, no, 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 I have to go for one cycle. I mean, who am I? Look who I'm playing against. Right. Uh, uh, now, moonshots, Joven, how bad do you want those moonshots back now? <laughs> um, I would just like to recap my run real quick and say that it, this was perhaps one of the greatest comeback runs I've ever had because I was plus... A minute 22 after Bogmire, I got a 21:39 Bog key, with probably the worst RNG I've ever had out of Area 2. Yeah, like, we, we were talking about your Area 2 RNG. Yeah, I figured I got bad. better RNG than you in Area 2 because I got early release and text. Yeah, yep. your early game RNG was better, but I will say HD's RNG towards the end of the game was a lot better than yes, yours. I think outside was. of Armory, HD had pretty good RNG. I, My RNG was kind of up and down. I yeah, golded you had roof and downs. I, I golded roof key by four seconds, and I didn't oh even God. think that that was possible. I thought that gold was pretty solid. Oh, yeah, nice. But... He definitely turned up the jets towards the end, and I mean, he had a drop soldier that was really low at seventeen. Oh. There was a little roof. Uh, uh, yeah, can I ask what is six piece on roof even faster? Yeah, it it saves a second if you do it properly, but you were I, just going for everything. That's I said it. I set it up wrong. Well, I usually always go for it. Anyways, you got a nice uh, twin double. That was one of the cleanest yeah. twin doubles. Yeah, that, that twin was double. I was proud of that one. one. It was good. That was I have ever seen. And yeah. your Sapphire room was insanity. Oh yeah, like, my area three room? for the most wow. part was pretty insane. Apart Dude, from the your early first three areas shots, were like, really good. Outside of missing Chauncey, you. Pl I was saying that. Yeah, the my my goal. Right. The, the, the moonshot. The, the moonshot was definitely a weird one too. And my goal was to fifty five, and I was you know good fifty five pace with this run, you know until King Boo. So. 
I played pretty well for most of it. I, no, I absolutely. Can't really it's complain. not a run to be ashamed of. It's just like the ending is unfortunate, but what can you yeah. do? I mean, you did what, you, what you could. Yeah. I mean, no, yeah. That's, that's, that's all I like, did what I could. It uh, was a hell of a I mean, rally by HD, though. I mean, hey. It was. He, he it stuck was a great it. He didn't make any mistakes after he knew that he couldn't afford any. I mean, yeah, it I, was like a 30 second difference after Blue lost us. You guys were really far apart, yeah, so you I, rallied. I messaged Jared on Snapchat at the end of Area 2, and I said, this is probably the worst Bulak I've ever had. And he told me to focus up and dial in because it's not over, and I, I think I did that. I, I think so, too. I think this is very reminiscent of the Mega Lightning thing, and where something like, you had a bad taste, you know what I mean? And you played well. I mean, and Joven played like a machine through and throughout. I mean, like, just never held back. All strats. Five-piece five piece armor was so, was so clean, it looked like he was doing, like he does it every day. That was really good too, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, it was, guys. The, the showcase was amazing. Obviously, one oh, of you guys had to lose. I think it's actually ironic, HD, that you get to move on and play more. So enjoy that. It and is I'll ironic be, I because I know <laughs> that you were sitting there saying, "Well, if I lose, at least you. I don't have to play anymore." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you favor HD, HD. Mr. HD. <laughs> Why are you doing no, this? No, you're gonna be the. At least well, you get to win the tournament now. That's the good news. I know you're up against Pablo. You could be the person to to stomp the giant. Yeah, that's true. Uh, not the giant in the call, but Pablo the giant. The giant. The yeah, the other giant, well, the literal well, giant. That is yeah. correct. <laughs> you go play our winners round final Titan Pablo in a still double a limb where you have to win two runs to win. Oh man, that is an uphill battle. I feel like being Pablo just battle. once is uh, pretty difficult, but... Especially if you had hey, 55 pace, but it's doable! You know what, I got this far, I think I can do it. I, I think you can too. Obviously seeing the runs, the 55s, the low stuff. Not to say Joven can't do it, but I mean like... It, it, the, no one better to be in the finals and represent the Luigi's Mansion community than you, Mr. HD. Yeah. And you have solidified yourself at least the $50 prize. And Joven, you take True. third place at 25 hey i'll take it it's we take those it's a hey. it's a w man it's a w your well, your gameplay is amazing and I'll, I'll just say one last thing in the two runs that i have finished today i have golded three splits and that's probably the most that i've gotten Ooh. in a long time Pablo, you hear that say, i was gonna say to you actually it just goes in general these two runs that you see right here Neither of them would beat Pablo. I don't think Pablo would get a 56. No, well, I think, I these, think, I think he's these gotten runs. only better times in this tournament. I think his yeah, worst time in this tournament these was like runs a runs aren't beating Pablo. Right? So that's why I'm saying the pressure is really on. Big big mistakes like missing Chauncey one cycle, you can't bank on Pablo doing that. And, and, and if anything, you have to get Chauncey one cycle for the one in 10 chance that he actually doesn't get it. Yeah. But you can save enough. that time on him. I don't think he's missed it yet all tournament. I'm pretty I don't sure think he has it. He has it run. really good yeah. at King Boo one cycle too. And he's going to make you dial in and, and play every room to its fullest because he has so much nuanced time safe that he will continue to do. I mean, it's, it's a rough it's a rough uphill battle. Well, hey, boys, we appreciate the race. That was really Absolutely. entertaining. At Thank the end of the so day, much. it's all for fun, mm -hmm. you know. Me and Big Max were taking Team Shirt Brother and we, Team HD. But we I'm, sure were. <laughs> I'm just glad both of you guys get to play and we got to commentate. You know, Absolutely. you guys are two of the two of the best to ever do it. Two of the goats. Thank you, so, man. I think we had two of the you. greatest commentators on this. So you know what? They just go hand in hand. It was a good match. It was. It was truly it. like really inspirational to watch you guys play. I mean, it. it I, I. It's. I envy it. I want to. I want to replicate it. The boot drags. The breaker. By the way, the breakers. Wonderful job on breakers, guys. Yeah, he really did. Mine was right pretty. Uh, oh, did he like, double cap he right did. away? But you did. were right, Jared. Wow, you got him from middle on a double cackle. Holy yeah, wow. That was impressive. Well, Team Wall Strat gets another bonus point for that, I guess. But I still think Team Drag Strat <laughs> looks better. It looks better, but it's it's when push comes to shove, who cares? As long as you get as it. As long yeah. as you get it, I don't care what you do. You can <laughs> spin cares? Strat. Um, well, I think. We will be wrapping it up. So the next match you'll be seeing will be Grands, and it will be HD versus Pablo. Again, HD's going to have to bracket reset. So in order to beat Pablo and take the whole thing, he's got to win two races. It's a tough thing to do. Even if you won and done, you made it really far. And both of you guys, I mean, I think either one of you guys are going to put up a tough fight against Pablo at the very mm -hmm. least. I think when the pressure's on like that, you guys both play really good under pressure. So, um... 
you know, I'm just hoping for a good race next week or whenever it is. And other than that, I mean, GG's today. I had fun commentating. It was a fun race to watch. I was popping off at the end, dude. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. It was oh big, God. big pop I off. Dude, good you stuff. It off. I bet it was, it was, I bet it was one of the greatest calls in LM tournament history. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. But I, again, I got to say, through everything, Joven, you played damn good at the beginning of the at the, like first three areas dude you were on it i i thought for yeah. sure i was like in my head i'm like ooh, hd having to save 30 seconds like that's crazy you missed moonshot twice and you were still 30 seconds ahead out of blue Osses. that was nuts yeah that, you were just i forgot i did that yeah it was i don't know you played good man and nothing to be nothing to be ashamed of at the end of the day like i said it's all for fun so indeed glad you guys got to do it well, gentlemen, thank you for commentating. GG. Yeah, Not thanks, Gaming. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks for, uh, thanks, thanks everybody. everybody for watching. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. Mm -hmm. Follow everybody. Follow the commentators. Follow us. Follow your dreams. Would mean a lot. Do Peace follow, out. Your, follow later. Your dreams. Welcome back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we are gonna send it off. So we'll see you guys in the yeah. grand finals. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you send it off for us, Joven? All right. See you guys. Peace out. Later. Um, you know, thanks for watching and all that, and we'll see you soon. So Absolutely. bye. Stay peace. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. Peace, guys. See you later. How do I end this? Peace. I, I oh, got wait. it. Oh wait, okay. <laughs>